It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 4th of February. I'm James Spann. We'll see some rain across the state tonight. More rain as the weekend begins. And could we see some icy, wintry problems toward the end of next week? That's the big buzz on the street. So a lot of things to talk about, so let's get right to it. There's the upper air look across the country today. It's a very energetic flow pattern, a wavy pattern, if you will. That next wave off to the west brings that chance of rain tonight. Temperatures all over the board this morning. We've got uh, 22 at Aniana, but in West Alabama, 38 at Utah. Of course, variations in cloud cover and wind, the reason for the big range here. There's the watch warning map. We've got uh, blizzard warning for parts of Iowa, winter storm warnings for parts of Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan. Wind advisories for parts of the southern plains, but down here things are pretty quiet. Maybe some thunder later today and tonight over Missouri. No severe weather expected. In fact, no risk of any severe storms across the country for the next five days. This is the rain for the next seven days. Pretty wet for the southeast. The heavier totals for Alabama, the southeastern half of the state. Rain amounts there, one to two inches, under one inch for the northern and western counties. So model fans, let's go. Let's dive into the modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06C run at 3 o'clock today. We have troughing north and west of the state with a cold front approaching. But the day today should be dry, the sky becoming cloudy, and we'll be up around 60 this afternoon. That'll feel pretty good. So the front comes in here tonight. This is the high-res NAM valid this evening at 6 o'clock, showing showers pushing into northwest Alabama. This is midnight, cold front pushing on through. Uh, no risk of severe storms, probably no thunder. And 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, the rain is basically from Montgomery south and east. So for the northern half of the state, the better chance of rain about 6 o'clock this evening until 3 a.m. Rain amounts will likely be under one half inch. Now, this is tomorrow. The front will be stalling out over south Alabama. So if you're south of Montgomery, the day tomorrow cloudy with a chance of rain. For the northern half of the state, uh, the sky becoming partially sunny, cooler, with a high closer to 50. So this is Saturday, and uh, again, we've got some model conflicts here. The model's really having a hard time. It's a tough pattern. Uh, Saturday looks like a cloudy day, and the GFS wants to bring some rain back in here during the day Saturday for the northern half of the state. The European, however, keeps the rain over the southern part of the state. So you can see it makes for a challenging forecast. So during the day Saturday, I still think if you're in north Alabama, a decent part of the day dry but cloudy with highs in the low to mid 50s. The better chance of rain for the southern half of the state. This is Saturday night at midnight. And uh, that seems to be the better chance of rain statewide over the weekend. Moisture fairly limited, so rain amounts will likely be light. And again, if you're up in the uh, Tennessee Valley uh, near the Tennessee state line, Huntsville, the Shoals, Athens, Decatur, Scottsboro, there could be some snowflakes mixing in with the rain Saturday night, but temperatures will likely be above freezing, so we don't expect any impact if that happens. And then Sunday, everything's on by. Uh, the sky becoming partially Sunday. The high should be in the mid to upper 50s. This is Monday. We're dry and mild. How about mid-60s? This is Tuesday. Moisture begins to increase with the next wave. Tuesday night, evidence of ice north of the state, freezing rain. And then Wednesday, that wave is on by. So there could be a few sprinkles Tuesday or Tuesday night, but at this point it looks like nothing that really significant. Then Wednesday would be dry and colder with highs in the 40s. And this is a week from today, Thursday the 11th, a vortex to the north, a zonal flow, and moisture beginning to come up and over the colder air at the surface, and that could be problematic. This is suggesting freezing rain possible Thursday off to the west, and then this is Thursday night of next week, and the GFS depicting a chance of freezing rain for about the northern half of the state. And the problem here is that the cold air is going to be very shallow. Look, that's a 1,057 millibar high coming into Montana. Very cold air. It begins to get very shallow down here. So instead of snow, you'd wind up with freezing rain. That's rain that falls with temperatures below 32, and that could lead to some icing. Uh, this is 6 a.m. Friday and the GFS drives that freezing rain deeper into the state. And that could be an icy mess if this verifies. So let's go to the reliable European. It's, it's got the same idea, but it's farther to the south, suggesting a chance of freezing rain for parts of central, maybe even south Alabama Friday morning. But we're starting to see some fairly decent 
model agreement. Let's go to the ensemble here. This is what you want to do is look at the ensemble mean, which is what this product is off the GFS. This is Friday of next week, really Friday night. And again, it does have the idea of some wintry precipitation in the form of freezing rain, some sleet maybe, that orange and snow for the Tennessee Valley. So we'll just kind of start raising that possibility toward the end of next week. But there is absolutely no way to be specific at this point. Just something to watch. So let's look at the snow output for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. And most of the members do show some, a few snowflakes here. But remember, I think with this event, the greatest concern, it's not going to be snow. It's going to be freezing rain and ice out there toward the end of next week. Rain for Birmingham off the same model, the mean about two inches, and this is through the 18th of February. Temperatures off the national blend of models, you can see the drop-off uh, late next week, the high Friday of 43 with a low of 30. And models historically do not do a good job of handling shallow cold air. They don't have the grid resolution to do that, so these numbers could be a lot colder than that. But again, we'll see. And I stress, there's absolutely no way of knowing exactly what happens a week, seven, eight days in advance like this, in a pattern like this. Just be aware of the potential for some winter weather mischief and some impact events. Here's the temperature outlook from the CPC. This is for the 11th through the 17th of February. A lot of blue on that map. This is suggesting temperatures here below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.